when I was studying the cello, when I was 10 year old, playing in the Dutch National Youth Orchestra, I would not have imagined me sitting here, sitting on the floor, playing rag, but deep, because that was what raga I performed. How did that happen? I'm still figuring it out. As a musician, probably there are a few things that are really, really essential. And I would like to share a few of that. I can also talk about the development of the cello and the technical things. But I think the key question is, what makes an artistic experience? What makes us connect through arts, through music? Why does that happen? I'll start with a small anecdote. This was about 10 years ago, and I performed a duet with my husband, Shubendra Rao, in the small town of Maihar, which is, in a way, for Indian musicians, it's a mecca. It's a very, very beautiful place, because in that very small town, greats like Ravi Shankar, Ali Akbar Khan, Vijay Jog, a lot of the greats learned there at the feet of their guru, Baba Alauddin Khan. When we performed there at four in the morning, because it was one of these whole night festivals, after we performed there, an old man walked up to me. He was dressed in this traditional way with this dhoti, the loincloth around his waist, a cap and a white kurta. And he told me, who says Sarasvati, the goddess of wisdom, learning and music, is only Indian? It made me think, of course she is not. Of course she is from Africa, and Australia, and the US, and India. Because she is the one th person, the one entity that connects us all. She is the essence of what is an artistic experience. If we bring it down to a more practical thing, if we have talk about artistic experience, there are a few things really, really important. And the first and foremost is perhaps expectations. We like to fulfill expectations, and we like to break them. And the right balance leads to an artistic experience. If you go to a concert of your favorite band, and there's one song you just really love that they perform, if they perform it exactly the same way as is on your recording, how will you enjoy it? You will find it very boring, because you might as well sit at home and play your record there. There needs to be somewhere that expectation needs to be broken by an artist in any genre. That makes an artistic experience, the right balance between breaking expectations and fulfilling them. Fulfilling all expectations leads to entertainment at its most. Fulfilling none of the expectations, there's no communication anymore. But that right balance is the first ingredient of what makes a good artistic experience. The other one is an openness and a willingness to learn. I myself, as a student of music, I think I rolled into this whole Indian cello by curiosity. I just heard a little of Indian music and was so intrigued by it that I wanted to know more. So I started learning the music. The very first lesson, I was seated, of course, as is usual as a cellist, on a chair, whereas my guruji was sitting on the floor. That is not the right equation to learn. You cannot look down on knowledge, to put it bluntly. 
we need to at least be on an equilibrium stage. And I would prefer to look up to it at any point of time. So that was the first step. I would sit down with this big cello. Then I started working with my violin builder, Eduard van Tongeren, to create a new sound. He attached sympathetic strings to the regular big cello. That became instrument number one. Instrument number two, the instrument shrunk a little. Instrument three, got the extra playing string, but the very long neck. Instrument four was specially built for me by Eduard and was a fantastic, is a fantastic instrument, acoustic cello. Then for traveling and for ease, I approached a French builder, Alexandre Letelier, and he built this little instrument. So a curiosity to learn to imbibe. Another thing for to become an artist and share an artistic experience was mentioned by my guru, Pandit Hari Prasad Jorazia. He told me in the second or third year of learning Indian music, don't play like a flute or a sitar or a vocalist. Create your own voice, create your own expression, create your own entity in the art. And that's of course very, very important, to be yourself. Another part is to be honest. Music should be your expression. Stravinsky told his students, Stravinsky was a famous Western composer, he told his students, good artists borrow, great artists steal. You have to make anything you do your own expression. So this all together would, in my opinion, make an artistic experience. Honesty, open to learn, and the right balance between fulfilling and breaking expectations. Enough of words, I think I'll play one more melody in which I feel we show how expectations can be broken and fulfilled. I'll do that through a raga called Bhupali. It's a simple pentatonic scale, and it is literally found in every part of the world. We find it in China, in Australia, in Scotland, in the US, everywhere. Now, I'll start with a melody you will all recognize, because I feel sometimes in these divided times, the role of the artist has become so much more important again. We want to break walls, divide, let divisions and boundaries disappear through art. And I hope the Indian cello and music in general can help with that. So Raag Bhupali will take an excursion to Bengal as well, uh, Rabindranath Sangeet, with a melody he got originally from Scotland. So we go from the US to India, Bengal, Scotland, and we'll end in India. Rag Bupadi.